I had a, a bit of a walk down memory lane yesterday because it was 10 years ago that Andrew Breitbart took the podium at Anthony Weiner's press conference. Do you remember this moment? This was the whole story where Anthony Weiner had tweeted out. I mean, we know all of Anthony Weiner's, you know, extracurricular activities on the Internet now, sadly. We've, we, we know all too well the sort of stuff he was doing. But he first tweeted out a picture, and then he deleted it, and he claimed that he had been hacked. And then he accused – Breitbart, we ended up running with the story. And he accused us and our company and Andrew personally of hacking his account and setting him up. And for several days, I mean, that's what the media ran with, because why would a congressman lie about a thing like this? And then the, the, the truth came out within a week, and he called this press conference, and Andrew Breitbart happened to be in New York, and he took the podium before Anthony Weiner was there. I'm Andrew Breitbart, by the way. Um, we reported this at Big Government and uh, Big Journalism. Yes, we did. I'll never forget the night that we had a big you know, emergency editorial call about how do we handle this story? What do we do? What do we talk about? And I remember the moment before Andrew was texting with me. He said, I landed in New York. I just got to the hotel. And I said, well, Weiner's having a press conference right up the street. He was staying in Midtown. And he goes, I think I'm going to go. And I said, hey, Andrew, what are you going to do at his press conference? And he goes, I kid you not. The last thing he texted was, don't worry, I'll keep a low profile. <laughs> the next thing you know, he's on every single channel. This guy was like the mo- highest profile congressman out of New York, married to uh, 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 Huma Abedin, who was like the, the bag man for Hillary Clinton. She, you know, Huma was about to get into the White House. Remember, he was the front runner for mayor of New York. It would be Mayor Anthony Weiner, not Bill de Blasio, had he not been caught up in yet another sexting scandal with underage women. And now he has fallen so far down that he's he's resorting to having to sell pictures of it. <laughs> Uh, well, look, junk. it's one of the rare times that a politician has actually been held accountable for their behavior. So, well, you're right. But let's just point out he wouldn't he was only held accountable not by other politicians and not by the mainstream media. It was by a courageous journalist who literally changed the way we view and report the news. Andrew Breitbart, we are a better country because he walked this planet.